is the cheapest egg here in uh, World War. The rest are uh, expensive. Like this is five dollars, but this one is just three dollars and fifty cents. Twelve pieces. And we are now home. I also bought this uh, chicken. This is five dollars. Yeah, three pieces. Yeah, I wish I had rice, but yeah, just now I need to cook the rice. And yeah, these are some of the things. <laughs> Look at that. And while waiting for the rice, I'm also cooking uh, a noodles, like a soup. Because I'm really hungry. This morning, I just eat a pancake, the extra from the pancake machine. And one piece croissant. And during my lunch, I had just coffee. Yeah, that's it. I'm really hungry this time. That's why I'm going to really satisfy my hunger. So I will be eating rice, chicken, and noodles. Oh, let me show you. Look at this. This is spoiled already. <laughs> Long time, huh? And yeah, this yogurt. This one is already expired. Expiration is uh, what is the expiration? Look at that. Yeah, expired already, but it's unopened. I will uh, check. I will keep it there. Yo, good afternoon guys. We are going home now. Today I start the same like uh, before. I start at 6 o'clock and finish at 2 o'clock. We are busy. Yeah, for the breakfast we did 181. And during the lunch I did the... Uh, we, we did around 15, uh, 15 people. And lunch service is still not finished. Land services until uh, 3 o'clock. And do you know that there is new COVID case here in uh, New South Wales? Yeah, basically this is uh, the source is basically coming from uh, other country and stays in uh, Melbourne for quarantine. But you know, in Melbourne there is uh, much. Uh, uh, cases these days and then this guy come to Sydney and then uh, did the checkup again uh, testing and turned positive to COVID he was already working so the rest of the guy in the Woolworth because the guy was working in Woolworth so some of the guys in Woolworth uh, quarantine also under uh, investigation yeah around 15 people yeah I hope that it will not grow more I mean it will not uh, spread the virus because uh, if you look at in here we are almost uh, normal here in uh, New South Wales uh, thank you Thank you. Ah, oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. I oh, will just going to have a look here. Actually, I can drive. It is low tide. That is why it's like this. Yeah, we can get through around here. I go this way because I saw the two lady. And I'm sure to say, uh, excuse me. Yeah, that's why we are passing through this way. I am not going to lose the problem. Okay, we get up here. 
It's a little ladder uh, staircase. Hey, we are going home now. We are not going to the town center. So this is the light of my bike, yeah very helpful, big help, this is uh, rechargeable, so I'm going to recharge it and then good for my, yeah for tomorrow. His visa and possibly work illegally, Officer Tim makes a decision. After weighing up all the information available to me, I was satisfied that the grounds for cancelling your visa outweigh the reasons for not cancelling. Your visa has been cancelled. You are refused immigration. Yeah, clearance. that TV program is a border for Australia. So basically, Australia about the people, about the travelers that are coming to Australia. Yeah. And so they check everything. <laughs> if you are walking in the airport and you look suspicious, yeah, the immigration may stop you and ask you as something related to, you know. I remember that when I was uh, traveling with my friend in, uh, so coming from Dubai to Istanbul to Norway. In Istanbul, I was uh, warned by the immigration there that uh, Norway might not allow me to go inside the Norway because I don't have a job. Yeah, he said to me, if you want, you can go back to Philippines or continue on going to Norway. Yeah, I decided to continue on going to Norway because, yeah, I have nothing to... I mean, I don't have bad intention. I'm not looking for a job. You know, I have my itinerary. Yeah, so I keep on going and yeah, when I arrived in uh, Norway, in Oslo, the immigration asked me so many things, like what are you going to do here? Yeah, I said that I will be here with my friend to travel around Europe, not just uh, Norway. And I show him the proof, like uh, my flight ticket, my itinerary. And the last itinerary would be the one that is going back to the Philippines. I actually have all those itinerary prior to travel. Yeah, so yeah, that's it. And the immigration officer in Norway, in Oslo, allowed me to get inside the Europe. And from there, very easy. Because uh, within the Shenzhen uh, country, you can travel even without showing your passport, <laughs> yeah, you just need to, to show your flight ticket and you can go to another uh, country in Europe, in the Shenzhen country. Also in Singapore, because uh, coming from Europe, I went to Malaysia, I stay in Malaysia and then I traveled to Singapore by train. Yeah, also in Singapore, I was questioned by the Singapore immigration or for what I am going to do in Singapore. Yeah, I said just basically just for tourism, sightseeing, and they let me in. And 
I always explain to them that I have uh, I am actually waiting for visa to come here in Australia for work and yeah that's it and then when I come here in Australia there was no question <laughs> good that's my experience about the airport it's good